Hello, Frank Thomas, www.ubotjunkie.com. Hey, I want to take just a moment to uh, show you the uh, Ubot utility and the uh, new Ubot utility. There is a uh, version that uh, came out, and it was at version 3.1 for some time. That's when I kind of got into the uh, Ubot playing field, and uh, now it's up to 3.3. Uh, so you just kind of show you what uh, 3.1 looks like. Here is the uh, the basic screen. Lots of bubbles here to put commands into. Very easy to use. Um, when you right-click on the screen, you can actually choose attributes and select what you want to do. Let's say, for instance, I want to go to this post, so I could create a bot here that uh, says, uh, first of all, navigate to this page. So okay, and then once it comes to this page. I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose by attribute and uh, it's inner text, I can select the inner text that's perfect, say OK and uh, finally sorry, it does take a minute here this utility is much faster when you're not recording in the, uh, the foreground of it and I can just do right click here and say oh, sorry click chosen, okay, click chosen comes up and I'm just going to put a wait command in here. Whenever you're moving between screens it's always good to put a wait finish and that just basically says you know just hold on let the page finish loading or time out at 30 seconds and continue on anyhow. Okay so let me just go to another page here Okay, and we'll run our bot. Should navigate to that page. Click on the text, and uh, there we go. We're on that particular page. You can see it changed from the the base page here, and it's showing us the whole posting there. Okay, so it works pretty good, you know. But there's a, some downfalls here. Let's say um, I'm working and I'm typing in commands into my script. I'm just going to delete the rest of the commands here. This is kind of something that always kind of really annoyed me. Um, was, oops, okay, I'm here I'm entering a command and let's say I'm going to now navigate to Google so, uh, or let's say I'm going to fill in this form at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to right click. Now this is a two-step process. I have to select by attribute. Okay, the name, okay. And as you can see here, something just happened, and I might not have caught that. I have no more bubbles to fill places to put commands. Now, what I could do is I could say change chores and attributes, and it's the value. I'm going to say that one is um, name, so I'm going to say Frank. I'm going to say OK, and it's going to throw an error at me. This is because I have no place to put this command. It's, it, it doesn't know what to do with it, and this has always kind of sucked. Now, it's not a big deal. You can hit continue, and you go, oh, OK, so. Now I got to go in, you know, insert another bubble. Now I have to grab this command and move it ahead. And now that I've got this command here, I can add more bubbles. So it's not life-threatening, but it is a bit of a bit of pain in the rear. As well as the interface is still very much mouse-driven. You know, I just can't start entering commands and click away. So it does slow you down a bit. The other thing is to change a field. It's a two-step procedure to change any field, okay? Or to select something like earlier here. I uh, navigated to the page. That was the only one thing that was one step. But when I wanted to navigate to the secondary page, I had to find the text and then I had to click on it. Okay, let's do the same thing. Looking at version 3.3. Now this is the latest and greatest version. Um, I believe that it's kind of gotten to the point where it's actually working really well. They went through a few uh, betas because they basically, as you can see, completely rewrote the interface here. You're going to see there's two different boxes here. This is the familiar box. There's a few small changes, but familiar box that we've always known in 3.1, as well as we have our toolbox. And I'll show you how those two interoperate with each other. Okay, so let's do exactly the same thing. We're on that page. I'm going to say right click and I'm going to say. Uh, uh, action command, I can navigate, okay, it fills it in for me, I can say OK. Now you see, I only had the one bubble left here that was open. It automatically goes down, 
selects the bubble before it and just continues to move things down. So that rectifies one problem. So like I can click here. Now the nice thing here is this is now a two-step command goes to one step. Let's say I know I'm going to want to click the link, so I just click link. So it knows the link and it clicks on it. Okay. Now let's say I want to put a weight in there. And I can click on this box, type weight, select weight finish and hit enter and it's in place. So it's very, very speedy. So you can see I did exactly the same thing very quickly. Okay, so there we are on google.com. I'm going to hit the play button, takes us to the page, jumps us to the secondary link, and there we go. And filling in forms, same idea. And as you can see, like the other application, it's left my control sitting on the last place. So I can actually literally pick up use the form commands which are one step things I can say Frank hit enter before in the other version you just couldn't hit enter if you hit enter it would actually continue a new line I can go down here let's say I'm gonna do a um, text area now because we can enter have entered commands in here it will continue putting them in the form and then we do have to select OK at the end, which is just fine. Okay, so let's just run this bot. Extremely speedy. Just works really well. I recommend that if you're interested in UBOT, uh, you do take a look at it. It, it is a fantastic, fantastic utility. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about UBOT, I'm going to be bringing out a uh, there is a free piece on my site www.ubotjunkie.com but if you want to learn the the fundamentals of easy as well as very very trouble free and expandable programming please come over to my site and take a peek because I'll be offering a full course very shortly for those who wish to learn how to use Ubot to program just about everything well thank you for taking a moment to take a look at the uh, new version of Ubot this is Frank Thomas, www.ubotjunkie.com.